Hello, we're playing another week of this uh, yeah. because this game is awesome. Uh, so welcome back. I'm yeah. Dan. I'm Matt. And uh, we're playing Counter Respawn. On we're the we're forcing thing. you guys to watch this. Yeah. I mean, you don't have the power to click on the videos. We're yeah, you know, mentally in your minds making you watch these videos. Yeah, we say you know I, that's the truth. These guys need to watch it. We're watching it. Absolutely. All right. All right. Let's get back to Colonel Sanders. Yeah. The image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. What a guy. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in tightly. Aw. Like I want that poster so bad. That poster's great. Uh, Good one, night, yeah. my colonel. <laughs> oh, God. In your dream, you are together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, introducing your love. Dreams are weird. Instructing, instructing your love. Your love dang Ooh, it. He could introduce your love. That's fine. I'm instructing. <laughs> I'm instructing. Oh, God. Oh, oh, and the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> the random guy. I love this. You awake on day two and day attempt two. to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories? Or... Premonitions! Premonitions! Wow, I need to work on my vocabulary. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then there were... There was the secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's chicken. Hey, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter <laughs> with the spork monster, she launches ah! into a story of her own. So... Last Tuesday, this girl. No, okay. <laughs> okay, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be um pregnant. No, I what? think I might like Clank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> like him, like like like. Well, that's a lot of likes in I one know. sentence. It sounds like it's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him, like like him, like my teeth. I like like them. <laughs> we got <laughs> talking after class. He's actually a totally sweet guy. Robot. Not that. Not <laughs> only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Did you know that Colonel Sanders was the most popular kid in his high school? No, but that does make complete sense. Yeah, but he's so popular that he was voted prom king at school. He didn't even go to. And. <laughs> And it was also the convertible that he wrote- Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> My brain is not functioning. That he was voted prom king at the school he didn't even go to, and was also the convertible that he himself rode into the front of the homecoming parade. Yeah, that's why I didn't grasp that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking maybe something got lost in pressure cooker language translation there. Oh, so it was just you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Either way, maybe it'd be best to- if you took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders, you are the opposite. Abso absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> you and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for learning? Question mark. You're a thing now. We definitely connected yesterday. That's bullshit. <laughs> 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 sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? <laughs> Laughing wow. at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. Yeah. True that. True that, bro. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. Well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie eyes. Your bestie's eyes light up. <laughs> your bestie eye lights up. <laughs> Just the one. A <laughs> secret ingredient? Yeah. I just said that. A secret ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a dramatic <laughs> echo in here? <laughs> Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. <laughs> so this summer, while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me 
in the botanical garden where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me about his passion for spices. Secret spices. <laughs> so he even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare fried dried petals. I completely added a word into that. Super duper rare dried flower petals. And if he did, if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Please, Mary, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice. He <laughs> met me at the gate when I arrived. Later. When I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. The, the flavor was unlike anything I've ever tasted. It was dandelions. Dandelions. I think you're being very liberal, liberal, <laughs> liberal with the meaning of spices here. No, I'm being conservative. Anyway, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Anyhow, I know words. We both share an interest in cooking, uh, so we stayed in touch. You know, we're like pen pals. I bet he would love to know uh, more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And besides, I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it would be much use to anyone. Please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. No one has to know it came from you or the Sanders of Colonel. Make up a fake ingredient. Oh, man, really? Oh. Making it up. You quickly think of a fake ingredient. I don't know. How about it was uh -huh. Eye of Newt? I know it sounds like some kind of witch potion, but uh, what can you do? Eye of Newt? Wow! Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing, you, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. But how's it cooked? <laughs> However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you could ask her to confirm that... She was definitely not texting secrets to other people. You're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals oh. fill the air. Oh, look from the train! Sanders! Sanders! It's oh, Colonel Sanders. My. He's arriving at school. God. <laughs> Majestic. Run to him! Running! You decide that the best way to show Miriam how serious you and the Colonel Sanders are would be to run to him. Oh my god. Surely he'll sleep you, sweep you up onto the back of his stallion, and you'll ride away together. That'll show her good. It certainly would. Oh, Colonel, my Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> However, your sudden movement surprises yeah. the horse, and it rears up, kicking you directly in the face. Oh. Oh. The force of the blow completely knocks you out cold. Oh. In the darkness, you see a vision. I think we just died. Ooh, totally can go. I'm here to deliver a message. Not this guy. Uh, it's important that you remember this exactly as I say it. This guy's dead. What the frick's going on? <laughs> this guy's dead. He's a ghost of a student that ate some octopus. And that's his voice. <laughs> Um, if you forget, the world could end, so you know it's serious. I've been trapped in the realm beyond, but a great prophecy relies on my return. Oh, wait. Yeah, only you can save me. All you need to do is repeat my name three times. And that name is... <laughs> but before he can continue, you suddenly awake. Ah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You awake to find Colonel Sanders tending to you. He roused you <laughs> He roused you back to life with a satchel of secret spices. Or is that just his natural seasoned musk? I really did. I hope so. I really read that fast incorrectly. <laughs> not... Anyway. Compliment uh, the craftsmanship of his horse's shoes. Le Oh, uh, nah, nah, it's too horse quick. Issues. It's too quick for a kiss. Maybe you shouldn't be riding a horse to school, and maybe you shouldn't be running up to animals you don't know. It's hard to say who was in it the was wrong you. here. <laughs> but one thing is for sure, that Colonel Sanders is pretty dreamy. That horse has beautiful shoes. <laughs> I, I could really feel how smooth and sturdy they were when they were pressed into my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to hear. No one truly appreciates good craftsmanship anymore. Oh my god. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see your oh, two yeah. rivals, a sleigh and Van Van, <laughs> are doing something bad. By the way, they're, they're hiding. hiding. <laughs> you know it must be really bad. 
like counterfeiting recipe bad, experimenting with restricted ingredients bad, summoning a demon bad. Definitely summoning a demon. Yes. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulders, but he sees you coming. Oh no! Whoa there. Like, want a- uh. <laughs> Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. What? Why- Why don't you just make like a bee and mind your own wax anyway? Oh, uh, honey. Honey? Uh -huh. uh, oh, wait, Tell them no. to stop <laughs> acting immature. Act like you're not interested in them, but- uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You sit near the rivals, but leave your back turned to them. You even hear Van Van mutter something that sounds a little bit like a magic spell. I knew it. You know what? Your mom's How about a dude. we figure out what it is on the next episode? Your mom's a dude. Your mom. <laughs> Your mom's a dude. Your mom's a dude. I have new. Gotta have some of that spance magic. <laughs> I'm good. I'm sorry. <laughs>